Hello everyone, for today's video, we will going to tackle some illustrating of limit theorems that our advisor gave to us. We have here the objectives. Objective number one, identify what kind of illustrating the limit theorems that the teacher gave to us. Objective number two, apply our skills and learn step on how to solve the limit of theorems. In illustrating of limit theorems, we all know that there are nine theorems. The first one is theorem 1. In this theorem, it shows the limit of a constant is itself. If k is any constant, then limit of k as x approaches to c is equal to k. Then in theorem 2, the limit of x as x approaches to c is equal to c. This may be thought of as the substitution law because x is simply substituted by c. If you guys want to know more about the other theorems, you can visit this link in Walmart channel in YouTube. And also don't forget to subscribe. Direction. Use the basic limit laws to evaluate the following limits. So we are using the illustration of limit theorems. The theorem used in number 1 is theorem 4, the sum and difference theorem. Limit of a function 2x plus 1 as x approaches to 2. First, separate 2x plus 1 into two parts. We will have limit of a function 2x as x approaches to 2 plus limit of a constant 1 as x approaches to 2. Then, Separate 2 from 2x to make it 2 times limit of x as x approaches to 2 plus copy the constant which is 1. Then simplify so we have 2 times x plus 1 is equal to 5. Therefore, the limit of a function 2x plus 1 as x approaches to 2 is 5. In number 2, the theorem used is theorem 9 which is limit of a polynomial function. Our next equation is limit of 2x squared minus 7, which x approaches to 1 fourth. And our f of x will become f of 1 fourth. And we're going to separate the limit of 2x squared minus 7. It will become limit of 2x squared minus limit of 7, which x approaches to 1 fourth. And as we can see here, we need to also separate the 2x squared. Then it will become 2 limit of x squared, which x approaches to 1 fourth, minus limit of 7, which x approaches to 1 fourth. And we're going to simplify. And we will have 2 times 1 fourth squared minus 7. Then if we simplify the 1 over 4 squared, we will get 1 over 16. Then 2 times 1 over 16, we will have 1 over 8. Then we will go to minus it to 7. Then we will have ne negative 55 over 8 or negative 6.875. The theorem used in number 3 is theorem 7, the power theorem. Number 3. Limit of x minus 7 squared as x approaches to negative 5. First, we will go and to separate the x minus 7 squared. So, we have a limit of x as x approaches to negative 5 minus limit of 7 as x approaches to negative 5. And then, we will go into substitute the value of x which is negative 5 in the limit of x. So, we have a negative 5 minus copy limit of 7 so negative 5 minus 7 squared and then we will going to simplify it negative 5 minus 7 squared is negative 12 copy squared so negative 12 squared is equal to 144 the theorem used in number 4 is theorem 8 the radical or root theorem limit of a function square root 7 x plus 8 as x approaches to 4 First, separate square root of 7x. We will have square root of limit of the function 7x as x approaches to 4 plus limit of a constant 8 as x approaches to 4. Then, se separate the square root of 7x into two parts. So, we will have a square root of 7 times limit of x as x approaches to 4 plus limit of a 
constant 8. Then, simplify. Square root of 28 plus 8 is equal to square root of 36 is equal to 6. Therefore, the limit of square root of 7x plus 8 is 6. And the theorem used in number 5 is also theorem 9, the limit of a polynomial function. Our last equation is limit of x minus 5 over 2x plus 1, which x approaches to 8. And we're going to separate the x minus 5 over 2x plus 1. Then we will go to have limit of x, which x approaches to 8, minus limit of 5, which x approaches to 8, over limit of 2x, which x approaches to 8, plus limit of 1, which x approaches to 8. And as you can see here in our denominator, we have 2x. We're going to separate them. Then we will have limit of x, which x approaches to 8, minus limit of 5, which x approaches to 8, over 2 limit of x, which x approaches to 8, plus limit of 1, which x approaches to 8. And we're going to simplify. And we will have 8 minus 5 over 2x, 2 times plus 1. And, we're, and our answer will become 3 over 17.